the chat. Where, we have a box for this. Where is it? This always takes forever. Why isn't it working? Is anybody there? Is anybody there? Oh, there they are. Wow, that chat box is really big. I should make it smaller. You guys have too much screen real estate. You're getting greedy. I have to do something drastic. reveal. Well, if you were a real faker, you could use the only hands emote, but whatever. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? What does the title mean? What, what do you mean? This couldn't possibly be more clear. It's obvious. The answer is the puzzles. I bought this brand new. It is 500 pieces and it's all donuts. Look at how colorful it is. That's the ideal for puzzles. Many colors, many confectionaries. Actually, I don't know if donuts count as a confectionery or a baked good, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I got the bag here. I'm gonna do something crazy. Usually with my puzzles, I take them slow and steady. And I'm just like, I will take one piece from the bag at a time. Today, today, I'm doing something different. I am, I'm getting wild and crazy. Cause my life is in disarray right now. I'm gonna move the puzzle box, can't really see the chat. There you go, now you kinda see you guys. But um, everything's kind of up in the air. There's a lot of stuff in this apartment that isn't mine. I didn't steal it, and I don't want it here. But it has to be here right now. So, feeling a little bit chaotic. It's not a good thing. But it is what I'm doing. Wait, did the chat box freeze up? Don't freeze. I don't have time for that kind of thing. Anyway, it's a bit of a speed run. I believe there was one time I did a 500 piece evolution puzzle and I did it really fast because I just friggin' dumped them all. So I'm gonna do that. Be ready for, for the catharsis. It's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. feel so energized. I just threw the bag on the floor. The only problem is, is that all the pieces are upside down. How long is this stream going to be? As long as it takes, or until I get bored. Don't worry about it. sound energized. <laughs> you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Wasn't that a book? Just like this really angsty kid. I read that when I was like in high school. Or probably earlier. I'm gonna say that that goes there. This is purple. It goes over here. Egg is number one ASMR, but it's not ASMR, it's not real. It 
it's all an illusion. We look for the edge pieces. That has no colors on it. Desk reveal. No, this is a table. The desk is elsewhere. Oh yes, I am so excited to hit 20,000. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably something stupid. As I do, usually, stupid things. I think that goes there. And that goes up there. I want to give ourselves some more space. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on. Oh yeah, we got room. Nope. Too far. Okay. Everything's going fine. Slow mode isn't on. Yeah, I know. I turned it off. I figured I wouldn't need it. I don't think many people are going to tune in tonight. I mean, it's like that song. Keep it up. It's a Friday night. And it is a Friday night, which means that everybody is going to be doing more important things like dancing. People dance on Friday nights, don't they? I don't know. Some people dance on Friday nights. Some people do it on Saturday nights. Wait, it's Saturday, isn't it? It's not Friday. What's wrong with me? I don't know. I'm having a hard time keeping track of the days, even more so than when I work night shift. I don't like working until 10 p.m. It's a waste of time. I'm looking forward to the day when I can quit my job and just make money from doing ridiculous things, which is my goal. I want to become the germa of ASMR so I can do ridiculous things and get paid for it. Probably would not take out a loan to do a virtual carnival, though. That would be a bit crazy. Oh, it's sun. You're in the future. Yeah. Well, listen, you can you can sit in the future, but if there was a disaster that happened in the past, would you warn all of us past people about it? There's a question for you. Or would you just keep the knowledge to yourself and let the time, the time stream remain untarnished, even if disaster struck? Jerma is the content king, and I don't even follow him. I've only experienced him through clips. He does a lot of crazy things. I envy his lifestyle, but not his fan base. Have you seen how they talk to him in chat? It's outrageous. That's another one for that. I only use one arm. Well, I'm I'm right-handed. So has anybody been watching the new Animaniacs reboot? I've gotten like halfway through it. It's really good. Okay, that goes there. I don't know where this goes. I'll put it over there. Mic reveal. Oh, did you guys see it? Can you guys see it? Is it like... It's about here-ish. Like, I tried to move it out of the uh, camera's line of sight. I don't know how that's working out. I know there's like a halo of light over here. I'm really cramping everybody's style but it's okay because it's just the light 
from the ceiling. It's not the light of heaven. Don't worry, you're not dying yet. I'll just become left-handed. I can't. Both hands, bitch. I don't know where this goes. I'll put it over here. As a dark horse. I don't really know what that means, though. This is... here. Look for the edge pieces first. Well, I will do that. The real reason I'm using my right hand only is because I have to lean with my left. Come on. This puzzle doesn't smell very good. I was thinking it might be the mic cover, but it's not. The puzzle just smells weird. It's not even like that new puzzle smell. It's just so glossy. I think it might have wax on it. Did you think you would have got where you are today when you started? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, to be honest, in terms of YouTube success, I haven't gotten very far. There's still so much more to do. I was thinking, once I hit 20,000 subscribers, maybe I'll feel comfortable enough in a good enough space to stop posting on the weekends and just maybe do live streams, because I'll admit, having to work full time and still post content on the weekends is getting pretty draining. For some reason it was easier when I worked at night shift, but now that I'm second shift it's just like, ugh, I don't have time for anything anymore. making you feel like you're upside down. Well, you are upside down. This is, the camera's up there, but the image is reversed so you can see the puzzle as it is meant to be seen, right side up. Maybe one day I will be more avant-garde and do a puzzle upside down facing the camera, but that day is not today. I have a question. Hello, Rengoku. I have a question. Do people speedrun Guitar Hero? Is that like a thing you can do? This one's already connected. I don't like that. It's a sign of poor build quality. in the cemetery and getting your power back. Uh, I can do that tomorrow, I guess. I mean, it's right next door. I don't know where these go. Like, I was thinking I've got such a great view from my apartment that I could just, like, do a live stream where I'm just facing the camera out the window and just talking to chat, which could be a little bit of fun. You guys could get to see the sky. But if I angle the camera down a bit, you get to see the cemetery, which is always there. It's a very big cemetery. My grandparents are in there. And my great-grandparents. Yeah, that looks nice. What are my thoughts on the comments? Okay, well, somebody has to post first. That's like the rule of the internet. I don't really mind that. And like, sure, Obama can post what he wants because he's like a meme channel or something. I don't know. But um, posting facts 
in the comments section isn't a bad thing because it encourages people to reply and uh a bit of analytics tells me that the more comments I get, the better that is for the algorithm, so anything to drive engagement, I guess. What do I do for a living? I am a, I'm a, okay, well, it's so stupid. I'm a cleaner, a janitor, but my official job title, oh, that actually fit, is a caretaker which is like some stupid PR speak. We are literally just custodians and janitors. Like all the janitor's closet are just labeled janitor's closet. They're not caretaker closets. But I did get a bit of a, a good luck at work. My boss was like, hey, this guy's gonna be like waxing the floor of this one office and I want you to help out so you can gain that skill. And I met up with the guy and we went up to the room and he was like, oh, they left all these shelves in here. We can't actually do this. Let's do it next week. And I was just like, yes, because I did not want to spend my Friday doing that. Ever had a spoopy ghost experience? No. I've always wanted to see a ghost though. Probably never will, because they're probably not real. That was the fridge, don't worry about it. I've always wanted to see a ghost though. The only thing that concerns me is um, infrasound. Apparently like infrasound is what's responsible for people seeing ghosts. It's just like the HVAC system in a lot of, um, in a lot of big buildings. So every time when I was alone at work, when I still worked at, like in the building with the morgue in it, I was always kind of scared that I would see like a hallucination, like, you know, cause like infrasound makes you hallucinate. I was just like, man, the vents here are really loud. I really hope I don't see some shit cause that would scare me. But I never did. Heard a lot of weird things though. But I mean, everybody's like had auditory hallucinations at one point in their life. No, I didn't work in a morgue. I cleaned a building that had a morgue. It's for med students. Oh, by the way, every med student in the world can fight me. I'm sure they're not bad people, but they make one hell of a mess. Is my voice natural? Well, this is pretty comfortable for me to speak this way. You know, I got, I, I got a... Really, when I'm talking other times, it really feels like I'm putting on airs if I put too much effort into speaking. But uh, if I work my way up, I could be like, oh, hello, I'm a normal person with a normal speaking voice. This is totally what I sound like every day, and it's definitely not me putting on an act. But, you know... How old am I? Old enough to know better than to post identifying information online. Why do you guys keep asking? Do you think I'm too old for you? Am I an old maid? Have I become a MILF? Well, definitely not. I don't have children, but you know. What's that thing in anime where if you're over 25 and not married, they call you a Christmas cake? Ridiculous. Who wants to be married by 25 anyway? How's Canada handling the coronavirus? Uh, I don't know. Not great. We've had like a spike in cases in Ontario. Everything's kind of shutting down again, but I'm not panicking. I will tell you, just to be honest, the second the vaccine comes out and is widely available, I'm quitting my job because it's going to be friggin' insufferable. 
because it's one thing walking around the buildings midday when, like, there's barely anybody there, but, um, once uh, the halls are teeming with students and other people that work there from nine to five, oh no, I'm leaving, I'm leaving and I can't do it. Or I'm gonna try to get switched back to night shift, because that was just tolerable, I guess. But I really would like to just do weird stuff online for a living. Believe me. Was that oh somebody subscribed that's right I still have an alert for that great am I a solitary kind of person yes I have never had a roommate see that's like one of those things I don't understand it's like I'm really careful with my money and like, I've never been able to relate to those situations of somebody like, oh man, I'm having such problems with my roommates. I'm like, I just don't have roommates. I've never had a roommate. Sure, like, it costs extra, but the peace of mind of being able to do whatever you want at all hours, completely worth it. siblings. I do have one. And actually, they just sent me like uh, they were like I don't know why. I guess just to celebrate me getting settled into my new apartment. She was like um, hey, I sent you some Amazon packages. And I was just like, okay, that's kind of random. Parent, and she was like surprised that it got split up into a bunch of different packages but all the stuff she sent me was like a million pounds she sent me like a bunch of cans of beans and um uh what did she send me she sent me some bisquick and uh cookie mix things like that and two gigantic bags of swedish berries which is really cool I got this new mouse. It's really not great. Why beans? Because I'm a big fan of beans, obviously. Does this go here? Nope. So she sent me some like maple beans and kidney beans and refried beans. I like to do with kidney beans is just make them into bean burgers, but only sometimes. Let's just go here. Ugh, God. I'm talking baked beans or real beans? Uh, baked beans and kidney beans. Since when were baked beans not real beans? They're made of the same stuff. They grow from a plant, I'm pretty sure. No, but seriously, I've super got the Animaniacs theme song stuck, stuck in my head. Put black beans and brownies? No. That's like when my mom, she like goes through these phases where she's trying to diet, you know, the typical middle-aged mother experience. And she did this thing that I don't know if I can ever forgive her for where she was like, oh yeah, I'm going to make brownies, but I'm going to make them healthier. And instead of using butter, she used applesauce. They were terrible. That doesn't fit. Whatever. 
75 people are watching the stream. Well, 87. What anime am I talking about? Animaniacs. Like, I know none of y'all are 90s kids, and neither am I, but I watched clips of it on YouTube when I was a kid, and it's just like, Animaniacs. It's a great show. It just got rebooted. It's on Hulu. Not saying I watched it on Hulu. I'm just saying it's available there. I mean, I haven't finished it yet, though. Animaniacs. Well, they did have an anime parody in one of the episodes. It was actually really well animated. It was just like it came out of nowhere. I was like, whoa, what is this? I thought it was a 60s thing, like older than Looney Tunes. Well, the joke was is that the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister were created in the 30s and then locked in the Warner Brothers water tower. <laughs> And then they were set loose in the 90s. And then they came back in the in 2020. I doing the jigsaw live. Yeah, man. I'm I'm like jigsaw. You know, the killer from the from the films. He's like, hey, I'm Jigsaw. And I'm just like, sup, dude. He was like, you don't appreciate your life, so I'm going to put you through some harrowing experience. And I was like, wow, that sounds kind of dumb. And he's like, shut up. Do the thing. You grew up with Beyblade and Digimon. I watched Digimon. I remember nothing about it, though. Uh, except the the song, everybody knows the 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 song from the dub. <laughs> so bad, Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. This doesn't go here. And I know I had Beyblade toys as a kid, but I don't remember anything about that show either. Who's my favorite YouTuber? It depends on the day. Uh, favorite YouTuber. Who do I like to watch? Mm, couldn't tell you. Oh, that doesn't go there. This goes here and that goes there. DMCA, that's Twitch, which is why I'm glad I don't stream there, but, um, actually, oh, nice, secret bonus, but, um, somebody asked what my favorite triggers are, I don't, I don't really know why they call them that, just, like, ASMR doesn't really do anything for me, like, with the tingles thing, I just like listening to the sounds, I just like listening to people scratch the microphone, like this, that's literally the only thing I listen to. I just like that sound. We ever do member only streams? Maybe if we ever get more than, tw like, we only have 19 members, so there wouldn't really be a point. Most people probably wouldn't show up for that and I wouldn't want them to miss it. So I don't know if I ever got more than like a hundred members, then I would do members only streams. Favorite triggers, chrono triggers. <laughs> Neko audios. Oh, so you were just listening to like, Nyan, Nyan, I am a cat girl. 
Is that is that what Neko audios are like? I don't know. I'm more into cowboys personally, but I've, I'll never rule anything out. Jigsaw puzzle of Obama. Does one exist? I want to get to the point where I could like open up a P.O. box and people could send me dumb things. Like if somebody sent me cool stuff, that'd be cool too. But like specifically, I want to be sent like ridiculous things. Like, uh, you know, those like sticky hands. I don't know where that goes. sound like Raven from the Teen Titans. Was she voiced by Tara Strong? I'd like to sound like Tara Strong. She's very talented. This is a great vocal range. I would, I would like to be like her. You know, I was listening to, uh, to those streams, you know, from the Radio TV Solutions crew, and I'm just amazed, like, Master Gurr and Holly can do like such amazing voices and I'm just like god I wish I could do that If I had a P.O. box I would get a bunch of meme puzzles. I'd love to get meme puzzles Like unless you uh, one thing that bothers me is unless you get them custom It's so hard to get good fandom puzzles like, you might get, like, a few 500-piece Pokemon puzzles here and there, but for, like, most of it, it's just like, oh, most fandoms are, like, they're mostly kids, so it's just like, oh, here's a 100-piece, like, Harry Potter puzzle or whatever. Do a Raven RP. I don't know. I haven't watched Teen Titans in a really long time. Definitely not watching Teen Titans Go, though. I don't know. Does this go here? Why puzzles? Because I like puzzles. It's my channel. I do what I want. Let's go here. What the f- Stupid. Hello, Biohazard Shade. Hello. Hello, Ray Gun Silencer. It's a crazy name you got there. Like opening Pokemon packs and moving the cards would be a good trigger. Well, if you want Pokemon cards, just go watch Critical. <laughs> Doesn't hasn't he gotten like addicted to those? I'm pretty sure that's what happened to him. Do I have a cat? No. Well, I had one. I, like, was looking after a cat once. Uh, there was limited space for the both of us. It wasn't a great setup. How has my day been? Oh, super busy. I wasn't even sure if I'd actually, like, stream or post anything today, because I've just been doing everything. It was like, let's see. I did my laundry, I put away the dishes, I uh, busted out the sewing machine to fix my mom's mask because it was kind of falling apart, and uh, I feel like I did something else, something important. I can't remember what it was. Well, we moved in a bunch of bullshit in here that isn't mine, but I'll get rid of that eventually. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, I went grocery shopping. I had a whole list and everything of stuff I had to do and I've completely forgotten most of it. Raven likes Beast Boy. Who doesn't like Beast Boy? Like, I know it's been a hot minute since I watched the show and I'm not a teenager anymore, but Beast Boy could get it. Do 
like any sports. Uh, before all this went down, I played volleyball once a week. So that was fun. Then it got canceled. Like everything else. <sighs> Isn't he like 12? No. He's a teenager. Because he's a teen titan. But I'm saying that at the time when I was a teenager, Beast Boy could get it. At this point, I'm way too old for him. Where are the other edge pieces? What is this conspiracy? What the f The audacity. even believe what's happening to me right now. Wouldn't he still be about your age since he would have grown older? Well, yeah, realistically speaking, but he's a cartoon. Cartoons don't age. But whatever, I'm sure there are older iterations of Beast Boy in the comics that can also get it. Also, Nightwing can get it. What the? This is absolute heresy. It should not be this hard to find edge pieces. It's a conspiracy, and the world is working against us. Oh, Delta Studios, welcome. Welcome to being a real faker. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for your support. Why isn't it popping up? Is it gonna do it or is it gonna be slow again? Why isn't it working? There it is. That's a super delayed response. How am I supposed to contend with this? As uh, that one, that one song by that one band would say, how am I going to be an optimist about this? And the walls kept tumbling down in the city that we love. Never thought watching somebody build a puzzle could be entertaining. Is it entertaining? Or are you just here for the sense of companionship? for the sense of wonder, the community organization, of being witness to someone else completing something. I don't know what I'm talking about. What I do know is that I can't figure out where these are supposed to go. <sighs> I'm kinda getting the feeling this puzzle's gonna be too big for the area I've set up to, anyway, like, ugh. Donuts are the best donuts. I would disagree. I like the ones with icing. Like this kind. You see? What's this puzzle of? Donuts and lots of them. In rainbow. But it should be more manageable than a Cobble Hill donut puzzle. That one's just complete anarchy. Much as I love Cobble Hill puzzles and their images, their puzzle piece shapes are outrageous. Where are the edge pieces? 
I'm starting to lose my cool. Are you in my recommended? I don't know. Do you watch a lot of real ASMR? Well, it's time to flip the script because nothing here is real. It's all fake. That's my pitch. How do you become a member? Uh, you gotta hit the join button. Then you can become a real faker. You see, there are fakers. And then there are real fakers. And then there are the fakest, which are the highest tier of real fakers. And they get to watch the secret videos, where the secret behind-the-scenes information is shared. I just made one a couple days ago. If you become a real faker, you could watch it. Brownies are the middle piece. Well, that is the softest part of it, yes. If only I could find effervescent. Thank God. Do you guys see that? It would be really weird if you couldn't see that. You can't see it. Great. Does one find the join button? I think it's next to the subscribe button, but I'm not sure. I only watch YouTube on mobile. You don't see a join button? Well, then you might be in a country that's like, you know, incompatible with memberships. I don't know what countries those are, though. It's like when um, YouTube Premium was YouTube Red and it wasn't available in Canada. And then when I traveled to the US, suddenly the option to buy YouTube Red was on my phone. And I was just like, what? And I was like, oh, right, I'm in the US. Brownies with or without icing? With icing, because icings are better than brownies. It's pure sugar, and I'm a big fan. Big fan of icing, and of frosting, and of icing sugar in general. If only I could find the edge pieces here. I could tell you more about it. Oh. Oh. We did it. I'm a legend and a scholar. You live in Finland and you see the join button. Hmm. Maybe if you're like under 18, it doesn't show up, you know, to protect the children. You know what really bugs me is that YouTube has decided that any video of animation is like a for kids video and on kid only videos, they turn off the comment section but they do that for animation even when it's like clearly adult and has swear words in it. It's terrible. Why puzzles? Because I like puzzles. I mean, do you really need a better explanation than that? I think that's pretty concise and informative. We need to stick the pieces together and make a bit of a crunching noise. Not sure how I feel about that. What do I do after I finish a puzzle? Mm, I take it apart and put it back in the box. Unless it's like really special, then I'll like glue it together. 
I'd recommend official puzzle glue over duct tape. Just uh, the result of an unfortunate accident to my Mario Kart puzzle during transit. The Evolution puzzle held together much better. Greetings from Spain and greetings from Canada. But I'm glad you're here. This is not right. This is definitely not right. How much did I say it was for a face reveal? Mm. It's a hundred thousand subscribers. I've decided that in order to protect... Oh, thank you, Porygon793, for becoming a faker. You are now a real faker. And finally, we got the timing a little bit better on the pop-ups, which is good. But um, thank you for becoming a real faker. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What was that? Oh, right. I still have subscriptions public. I think I can do that for like another few thousand subs. Like, you know, just leave them public. Because I know a lot of like uh, popular streamers and personalities, they don't turn that alert on because they don't really need it. But like for me as a, uh, as a small timer, it just makes sense for me to leave that on. Of course, you only see it if your subscriptions are public, which is also very rare. Well, it was $1,000, but I've decided to not do that anymore. Because, listen, I don't really think that anyone would pay $1,000, but the idea that somebody would... It, uh... It kind of kills all of my plans, all of my all of my review plans, uh, reveal plans. My mistake. Um, and you know what? I just don't want anybody spending that kind of money on me. Ooh, thank you for the thank you for the U.S. the one U.S. dollar biohazard shade. Thank you, thank you for your support. for now until you get paid Friday and you, you don't have to send me money I'm doing some kind of crazy stuff I've got I've got plans this is my side hustle for now but one day I'm gonna make it my job I'm gonna do it for real maybe not this but something else something online and something crazy can I summon a demon what do you mean what do you mean? I didn't summon a demon. That doesn't sound like anything I would do. What are you talking about? But to be honest, I really don't know what you mean. How do you summon a demon anyway? Do you like talk backwards? Is something like... Maybe that's a demon. You don't know. Maybe I'm living with one. who nobody is and why does everybody keep quoting him <laughs> that is a good meme though this is my side hustle but I upload more than most full time youtubers yeah I've uh, I don't like to call myself this but I am a bit of a content farm cause I do short simple videos and I upload every day <laughs> thank you smungus bochungus for the US 199 booga bunga Yes. Um, yes. These videos are low cost and low effort to make. 
they are simply just audio and pick crews that I am technically stealing. So there may come a day in the future where a pit crew artist is just like, hey, you are not allowed to use this, take these videos down, and then I will. And I'll just re-upload them with different video. So it's not gonna be a problem. No, I don't make my own pit crews. Well, I mean, I'm making them. I don't own the artwork. <laughs> but like all of the pit crew artists that I that I pick from, they are they're all Japanese, so I don't think they would sue me. Because like who would go through the effort to sue someone overseas for like uh, some kind of art? Like they can if they want me to take it down, they can just message me and I will take it down and then I'll just re-upload it because I've already gotten the views out of it. Now, if I'm ever given the chance, or if I ever have to, I will re-upload the, uh, the necromancer, the clumsy necromancer storyline, and I'll edit it better. Because that was back when I was, like, not really understanding how to do, like, gaps for responses. You need at least one second. And I was just like, oh, ten frames. And that's it. It was, it moved way too fast. It didn't really have the quality that you would come to expect from me. How many pieces is this? 500. I was so confident I could get it done, but I'm really running out of edge pieces. I'm just not edgy enough. I am no Shadow the Hedgehog. How could this be? How close am I to finishing this puzzle? Not close enough. All right, we don't have to friggin' slander me to the audience. Look at that. I just did another piece. Who's, who's the legend now? Who's sticking up for the little guy? The small puzzle enthusiast. Never watched the old Sonic Underground series. Never in my life. Phone. The world is about to crumble. Uh oh. I got another connection. And I found another edge piece. Which is good, because I needed it to go right friggin' there. Boom. When can I make streams of reading scary stories? I mean, that was more of an October sort of thing. You heard the Shadow the Hedgehog song? You mean the one from the game? I don't know. I don't, I mean, I'm sure I've heard of it, but I don't know the, the words or how it goes. Oh, yes, I needed that. We're making connections up in here. We're making connections. We're figuring it out up in here. Shadow the Hedgehog was a 50-year-old hybrid of an alien and furry DNA. They used to be friends with some random kid. Oh yeah, what was her name, Maria? Oh, thank you, heart of a zoomer, for the five pounds. Engl England represent. Here's some tea and crumpets. Oh, should I have been saying that with an accent? Here's some tea and crumpets. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, though. Thank you for the five pounds. 
I'm gonna make a stream of reading Christmas stories. I don't know. I guess I could read like public domain. Anybody want to listen to me read a Christmas carol or whatever that gets called? You know, you know that one. One with Scrooge and the Three Ghosts. Actually, I think the 50s movie is public domain. If it is, um, we're watching that. We're doing a movie night of that because that is a great movie. Christmas Carol. Is it, I feel like it's too early for Christmas. Actually, it feels like it's too early for anything. The uh, last time I thought it was like October. Now it's November, but it really doesn't feel like it, except in the weather. Everything's kind of been a blur since the COVID hit. I like uh, something like. Um, I don't really know any Christmassy songs. Um, we could sing that Hilary Duff song, you know. Um, how does it go? She had a Christmas album. It was like, I remember last Christmas Eve. Something happened that I couldn't believe. I went for a walk as the snow came down. And when it stopped, I was in a different town. And a sign said, have no fear, you're not lost, you're here. Walking this Christmas down Santa Claus Lane, no need to wonder, no need to explain. I don't remember how the rest of the lyrics go. I just friggin' jazzed it right there. Yes, singing provided the answer. already past the 20th of November. Hmm. That sounds unlikely to me. This is what you wake up to. It's your own fault for being awake. You could have pulled a Sleeping Beauty slip through the whole day, but you didn't. And that's your fault, because you're crazy. Only cool kids do puzzles. Yeah, bro. Oh, wow. Ukrainian man, thank you for upgrading your membership to Fakus. That means you get to watch the secret video where I also talk about puzzles. You want to hear me rank all of my cupcake puzzles? You got to pay me however much Fakus tier is. I don't know. What is it? $5? I don't know. I've upgraded due to personal reasons. Understandable. Have a nice day. Your midterms are tomorrow. Ugh. Gross. Imagine going to school. SMH couldn't be me for the past three years. I'm so glad I don't have to be in school anymore. I was always a terrible student. Oh, shoot. I missed this one. Yeah. Double whammy. It's four bucks. Okay. What is going to happen in the USA? Um, I don't know. I think somebody was born there. You know, they were born in the USA. Can you believe all these people that are just like, haha, we, we, we're messing around in quarantine because we were bored and now like this woman is pregnant and she will have to give birth in quarantine <laughs> like you know that's just great as you know the hospitals are already screwed why would you want to have a baby right now it's so dumb what puzzle is this it's donuts so, do not question me. 
people are going to say anything just to be noticed by fake. Fake is about to mess around and hit 20k before December. Well, considering my metrics and analytics, that's very likely. That'll be my Christmas present to me. Hitting 20,000 subscribers. But the end goal, as we all know, is 100k. I don't know why I put all my fingers in for that, but 100k. I want to get that plaque. And then I might do something crazy. Like put out merch. I know it's a bit presumptuous of me to assume that people would want to buy merch of something of my content, but honestly, I feel like a shirt that just says faker on it has multiple applications that you don't even have to relate to a YouTuber. You could just be like, oh, I thought it was a cool looking shirt, so I bought it. And you don't have to tell anybody that you're subscribed to me, because that would be embarrassing. I hit 100k, am I still going to do ASMR? I don't do ASMR now. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do crazy stuff, which is me. I'm, I'm going to do what I'm doing right now, but I will be doing it with the 100k plaque, which is what I want. I want that. I want it in my home. I was about to say I want it in my house, but I don't live in a house. gaming content when mm, nah can't can't go down that path again i am super boring when i'm playing video games when is the movie night stream when i find some more public domain things that i can view where are all the edge pieces where's my heart and soul where are the gumdrop buttons. Ownage. I wish we could watch Shrek, but it's not allowed. Fake is about to make Roblox ASMR. I've never played Roblox in my life. Or Minecraft. But I almost want to. Because I recently heard about that one server, the uh, oldest anarchy server. You know, the one where... um you spawn in and the area around the spawn point is just desolate because the old people in the uh in the server have been purposefully destroying the spawn point so it's impossible to survive so that newcomers can't come in oh well, thank you matthews voss for the canadian five dollars the faker shirt would be popular among amongst fate fans especially shiro fans fyi shiro is called a faker by gilgamesh Yes, the King of Ur. I have watched um, a season of Fate. I don't know which one it is. It was a thing I watched with a uh, with my ex boyfriend. And um, yeah, I didn't really understand it, but it had a lot of cool animation, so that was fun. But yes, I don't know what Gilgamesh was doing there. But that's like a line from like an auto-tune the news song. You remember those old ones? Uh, they were like, My BFF Gilgamesh is eternal life's an, an impossible quest. How many people are watching this stream? 114. Oh man, that almost rhymed. Where is my Canadians? I'm Canadian. I'm here. I never left. They're gonna assume I'm an anime girl. Except anime girls exist. <laughs> oh yeah, anime is totally real. You gotta tell Undyne that or else her heart will be broken. Man, when's the next chapter of Deltarune coming out? I want Deltarune. God. It just looks so good. But the unfortunate truth is, is that Ralsei was way cuter before he took his hat off. I'm just, I'll just say that. It's the fucking truth. It's the truth of the truth of things. Man, getting home. 
composed. No. What the hey, man? Your phone's gonna die. All right, go charge your phone. Why is everybody like letting their phones die on them? It's crazy. I would never do something like that. I have a portable charger for this exact reason. Oh, Kyle Yost, welcome, welcome to Fakest here. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you, thank you for becoming a real faker. That means you get to watch the secret videos. Thank you, thank you so much. Fake is 9.2% finished. You overestimate my abilities. If only. I figured this would go faster because I had all the pieces out here, but it's really not. Maybe I should just spend some time flipping them all over. Get flipped. Cat girl should exist, and cat boys. Gain ten pieces, I'll gain you ten pieces. See that? All right, go walk your dog and pet the dog. Tell the dog that they are a dog. It is very common for me to just be like, you are a dog. You have to tell a dog that they're a dog. You just have to be like, oh, you're a doggo. You're back from the grave. I don't believe you. There are no graves. I'm moving these pieces around. I'm making progress. I'm moving it fast. I'm doing what I can with the little, the little information I've been given. Dogs think they're elephants? What? Deku is here. Oh no. Is this a Hero Academia reference? I don't watch that show. I watched the first episode, part of it, and I was just like, ugh. This blonde-haired kid is the worst. I don't want to watch this anymore. And then I didn't. And I've been getting a lot of updates on it from Tumblr. And as far as I can tell, that blonde-haired kid is still the worst. Clearly over here. So at least we have that. Doria goes and breaks his limbs to beat one villain. I don't know. I don't know how I ended up following so many blogs that were like fans of Hero Academia. I just, I guess I gotta go on an unfollow spree. I'm following like 1500 blogs on Tumblr. I don't know why. I don't even know how it started. Oh shoot, I bumped the mic. I gotta adjust it. Return to stasis. A full commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you Never gonna make you cry Never gonna say goodbye Never gonna tell a lie And hurt 
want you. There, I sang the song. You happy? I could have sworn I've sang that on stream before. Gross. This piece is bent. Ugh, I hate that. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta get some more water. here. You might try to post some nonsense in chat while I was gone, but I'll know. I'll know. You know what I really enjoyed lately was uh, Mandalore Gaming's Ugh. The Fridge you know, some things never change. The fridge just keeps on interrupting me. Uh, his review of the druids, or whatever the heck that game is called. And yeah, I found it really entertaining. You have filtered, you like Ontario's disgusting water. I have a Brita filter, doesn't everybody? Who drinks water straight from the tap? Eating beans ASMR. Listen, if I ever come onto a stream and you just see me like dunking a spoon into a can of beans, you have to cancel me. You have to go on Twitter and say, this bitch eating beans and just tell everybody to stop supporting me because that's the end i mean if i don't get canceled at least once during my youtube career then what is the point Be finished in approximately silence. You need to be quiet. I need to finish this soon, though, because if I don't, I won't have anywhere to hem my curtains. I have to put my sewing machine here. I bought new curtains. They're really long, though. I have to hem them. I was thinking of doing a fake sew something live stream, but uh, it'd be really noisy because the sewing machine's really noisy. I'm not going to hem, hem uh, curtains by hand. That would take too long, though. Fake getting canceled for eating beans. It's what I deserve to get canceled for. You know what's a great comedy sketch? Or not a sketch, like a bit from a comedy uh, show. It's really great. It's really uh, entertaining. It's, uh, I think it's Kyle Kinane, and it's about this dude that's eating pancakes out of a bag on an airplane. It's really good. You should check it out. Quality chat experience. God, I know, right? <laughs> And people are like, why don't you make the Discord official? This is why. I don't know if that actually fits. I'm gonna say that's okay. Just eat ravioli out of your shirt pockets in public. Sister held a party last night. You got a hungover. Okay, well, you're the one who drank it all, dude. There is a Discord, but it's not mine. 
I've never made my own Discord. I know, like, all of these, like, other well-connected uh, creators are just like, oh, yeah, man, the join our Discord. And I'm just like, I'm not making one of those. Order a pineapple pizza. Do you hate me? Actually, I have a bacon cheeseburger pizza on the stove right now. That's what I have for dinner. And cancel me as you wish. beans on the pizza I mean I've definitely had like uh, baked beans with pizza before but not in this instance anyway come on man you gotta admit I'm making some progress just a little bit at a time though What's going on in chat? The bad things. Lots of bad things. Oh, thank you, Just Cullen, for the US $5. Petition to get fake to sing a song on stream. I specifically request Stormbound by Clark S. Nova and Kevin Sherwood. Look, I've already sang loads of songs on stream, but uh, I don't know what that song is. I've never heard that before. Like... And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to play it because I can't. That's illegal. It's against the law. But thank you for the $5. I could sing a different song. I could sing a, uh, what songs do I know? I was thinking I could sing like an anime theme song, but I don't know those by heart, do I? I can't speak Japanese. Fake sings the whole Star Wars Christmas album. They had that? I don't think there were any songs in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Although I haven't seen it all the way through. I think the only part I've really seen is the part with um, B. Arthur. I think. Oh wait, that part did have a song, didn't it? Sans Hussein Crimson Clouds. Crimson Clouds. Um... Sorry, the only song like that, I don't think that's what you're referencing. The only, I don't know what song that is, but I do know Crimson Cloud from the DMC5 soundtrack, which is, is, is a jam. It's, it's pretty good. How does it go? Um, it's kind of like a screamo song. I don't know if I could sing it properly. It's like, Devil in my blood. Living on the edge, split myself in two, death is all around, summoning more power, drag myself through pain, blood spills off of me and onto you. Oh, thank you, The Lurker, for the US $5. Sing All Star, we need Shrek memes. I can definitely do that. I can totally do that. I can definitely do that. Some. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kinda dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So what's wrong with taking the back streets? You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get the show on, get paid. Or was it get the game on? I don't know. I'll... Hey now, you're an all-star. 
the show on Get Paid. All that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. It's a cool place, and they say it gets colder. You bundled up, now wait till you get old. But the media men beg to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water's getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire, how about yours? That's the way I like it, and I'll never get bored. That's all I'm doing. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. How does that not go there? Okay, we're making some progress. Just need the song from Frozen now. Um, which one? I don't think I can sing Let It Go without getting copyright. I mean, that's Disney. I could sing the reboot song from uh, Animaniacs. Actually, I may not know all the lyrics. It's like, reboot it, redo it, retool it, renew it. Something like that. I don't know. Songs on Animaniacs are, like, friggin' great. Just say that much. It's been 20 years. Still great. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Indeed. Absolutely it is. Has the second one come out yet? Yeah, didn't the second one come out last year? Am I crazy? The only thing I know about Frozen is that I don't like it because they had that whole, like, 20-minute short film at the beginning of, I think, Coco? Like, it was, a, it was a movie that I really wanted to see, but they had that fucking short in front of it. It was terrible. Sing the country song. I don't think I could do the whole song. I'd have to look up the lyrics. One of the things I've noticed is it, it's either because of it's been 20 years or the fact that he got throat cancer, but Rob Paulson, like, he can't really sing in Yakko's voice anymore. He's just, he's just singing in his own voice. And I mean, like, it's fine. He still sings really well, but it's, like, super clearly just, like, not Yakko's voice. sell your discord link for like a hundred dollars wait what um i can't sell it i don't own it it's not mine and it's not official so if you see some whack shit in there don't come talking to me about it yeah <laughs> that was pretty funny what, what did he say it was like um He's like, sounds familiar, Mr. Countries of the World song or something. Okay. United States, Canada, Mexico, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. And I don't know the rest of the words. I don't know. I don't feel compelled to look it up. I can't do the whole song. Fun fact, you're invisible if no one is looking at you. Well, I'm invisible. All you can see is my hands. That's the only hands emote. I did make that, didn't I? I don't know. He 
Sing the ABCs. That's just Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Don't patronize me. What'd you say? We're your pog champ. What kind of vernacular is that? It's just like, baby, you're my pog champ. You're my darling pog champ. Something like that. Is that what you would call it? Ever go full scene, girl, like you were meant to in Binge Invader Zim? I wanted to be emo in eighth grade. I will say that. Is that not what is this I guess it goes on the other side then what an effing buzzkill thinking of the girl from Beetlejuice. You mean Lydia? I didn't watch the musical. I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna get a chance now. Because, like, didn't it get, like, kicked out of the theater and also COVID? I usually ended up with friend friends with emo girls in school as I wasn't a coward. Ah. Uh. But were you an emo, though? I don't even know what that's supposed to be. I speak in my normal voice, but like the stats, though. Statistics prove, prove that you've been watching more when I talk like this. Plus, I don't feel like putting in a lot of effort into how I speak right now, so... I mean, honestly, this is like a... I don't know what you would call this, like, min-maxing? This is like a low, high-effort channel, you know? Because it's like high-content, low-effort, but it still is me trying. But like a little bit. Oh, right. More goth, I remember. The long hair. Man, someday. Someday I will cut this long hair of mine, but not today. I don't even know if you guys could see that. Yeah, don't send the lyrics to Yakko's world. The chat's moving too fast. I wouldn't be able to read them. make my hair super flowy. My hair is super flowy. I don't really do anything special to take care of it, but it is very nice. I have testimonials. Middle of back, yeah, about that, pretty much. Like, let's just say, you know all those, like, uh, depictions of Adam and Eve where like Eve is completely covered up by her hair like chest wise it's about that hair will only be annoying if it goes into food mm, that happens more than you'd think
Adam and Eve and Nier Automata. No, I mean like the fucking Bible. I know we like to pretend that Christianity doesn't exist, but it does. Alright, goodbye, Dan the Dude. Thank you for stopping by. Man, all this flipping and I still haven't found another edge piece. Can you even imagine what I feel right now? Do you even know what it feels like to be Kara right now? It hurts. Not as much as the babies, but it hurts. God made the first ever light novel. Ooh, cursed. Yeah, the Bible's so good. Where's Bible too? Isn't that the Book of Mormon? That's that's a good musical, by the way. testament had some horrible stuff in it so did the new testament like the bible's just full of horrible shit and like you can pretty easily tell that most hardcore christians have never read through the whole thing let's puzzle speed run any percent world record well i don't think that would be easy to like define there's like a pencil sharpening speed run, run world record. There's that. No idea what it is though. Biblically accurate angels, that's a fun meme. Dude, what the fuck? <sighs> the shit out of here. <sighs> anyway. I'm not going to heaven. I mean, even if it was real. When I was a kid, I used to think that, like, doing the, uh, you know, that thing in church where, like, I don't know which, uh, maybe it's, like, specific to whatever brand of Catholicism I was raised in, but, like, you, you, like, dip your hand into some holy water and then you do the cross on yourself... I used to think that, like, doing that was, like, signing in and out of God being able to read your mind. Because it'd just be like, oh, this is how you sign into church, and doing it again, you sign out of church. And while you're in church, God can read your mind, and then after you leave, like, you sign out, and he can't do that anymore. Stop telling kids that hell is real, by the way. That's really fucked up. Infinite punishment for finite crimes. Can you even imagine? There is a god will go to extra hell or like turbo hell like that dude in Supernatural. Did y'all see the memes about that? And you just know that if it had been like not the season finale of Supernatural, they would have had to like have an exciting rescue mission where they rescue him from turbo hell. But instead, like one of the main characters just fucking died and the other one just grew old. And he had a really ugly wig on. the 
heck is texting me? Yeah, yes, I see. The biblically accurate angels thing. It's statistically probable that we're all living in a simulation. I don't know. I mean, Ross Scott said in one of his videos that it's likely that we aren't. And I believe what he says. He made Freeman's mind. Which, granted, has not aged super well, but, you know. One of my favorite Tumblr AUs is just like... Gordon Freeman from Half-Life, Gordon Freeman from Freeman's Mind, and Gordon Freeman from HLVRAI all, like, meet, and they have differing opinions on everything. <laughs> also, there was a comic where I'm pretty sure um, canon Gordon Freeman punched the Freeman from Freeman's Mind because he said a slur, <laughs> which he did. Canonically. a biblically accurate angel <laughs> and then it's Gordon just fucking screaming and the biblically accurate angel is Benry <laughs> simulation they should only pull the plug after half-life 2 vr but the ai is self-aware finishes i'd like to play half-life alex yo same i'm gonna buy a new pc eventually i'm gonna do it I mean, first I have to get like a desk chair though. I don't have one. I'm sitting in like a like a like a dining room table chair. There's so much shit in here that isn't mine. I read the MHA manga. I'm assuming that's My Hero Academia. And no, I don't. I've never read the manga. But I did, like, I'm following enough people on Tumblr that it's just like I know what's happening, basically. That VR set, headset that can ban you. Oh, yeah, you have to sign in with Facebook. I'm definitely not getting that one because that's some bullshit. Like, that helps nobody. But there is probably a way to, like, hack it so that you don't have to use it with Facebook. But, like, anyway... I've been saddled with so much furniture and objects that aren't mine and that I don't want, and yet the only thing I do want is the computer chair, and I didn't get that. Yeah, I wouldn't buy it in the first place, but if, like, you already owned one before the news broke, like, can't blame them for trying. The heck, man. That's not right. Oh, 
why the old tenants leave all their stuff behind. Listen, it's a bit of a long story, but it's not the old tenants. It's my parents' stuff, and they're leaving it here until they move. And I really don't like having all this extraneous stuff just about. They left me with, like, three boxes of various alcohols because they are alcoholics. Like... I know they don't want to admit it, but, like, they have so much fucking alcohol that the only conclusion I can draw is that they are alcoholics, or they're collecting it for some reason. I don't drink, and this is all just taking up space. The only thing I drink is, like, alcoholic root beer, and all I've got is, like, this freaking vodka and Kahlua and some dumb shit. I don't want it in my house. It's ridiculous. Could Elon Musk make cat girls? Elon Musk can't make anything. He just pays people to make it for him. He's just a rich asshole. Muddy Boo was pretty good. Yeah, it was. But that's like a... Sp- like. At some point, like, some alcohols are just like, yeah, we made, like, a slushy, and it kind of has alcohol in it. At that point, you may as well just drink, like, a regular, like, milkshake or something. I don't know. What's the best Dragon Ball Z meme? I don't know, the classic, over 9,000. I don't complicate things. That's not even accurate. Forget biblically accurate angels. What about biblically accurate puzzles? Are you back, Biohazard Jade? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the show. The show where I don't do anything showy. And I definitely don't tell. What would you do if you were God? I don't know. It's too much pressure. I don't think I'd do anything. Just, like, end all suffering. And that's it. I don't think I'd be able to think of anything else to do. Do I build puzzles off stream? Dude, you don't even want to know what happened to, like, all my puzzles. Like, you don't even want to know about it, but, like... I have so many fucking puzzles. I dumped, like, half of my puzzle collection, and they still took up, like, an entire box when I was moving. I have a problem. But at least I'm not addicted to Pokemon cards. How long have I been streaming? Uh, like an hour and, like, 44 minutes. If you refresh the page, it'll probably give you an accurate estimation. Maybe. I mean, nothing is ever certain. But it might. You never know. What would you do if the purge was real? I don't know, just, like, die? I don't know, like, I'm not a fighter or anything. But I'm in Canada, so... Purge is an American thing. I have nothing to do with that.
States, Canada, planet. No. And thank God for that. Otherwise, it would be fucking cold like half the year. Outrageous. <sighs> you know, it would have been cool to do this winter. And I don't even know if they're still going to do it anyway. Because, you know, it might be dangerous. No one's going to wear their masks. I want to go skating on the Rideau Canal. But fat chance of that happening. I wouldn't be surprised if they just don't bother to, like, do the whole long ice rink on the Rideau Canal this year, just so people keep their distance, which sucks. It's a big deal. I love skating on the Rideau Canal. They live in the skiing part of Canada. I mean, if you go to a large hill, you can ski. There are ski hills in Ontario. It's not our most well-known feature, though. To be honest, I don't really know much about the rest of the country. I think I've only ever been to Vancouver and Quebec, besides Ontario, so I can't really tell you anything. But I mean, really, what is there to see in Alberta or Saskatchewan, honestly? What's the temperature where I live? That's identifying information. But, uh, I don't know. It's like maybe five degrees. I don't remember. I'm not checking my phone. I'm gonna play Jackbox. All right, goodbye. How many tidbits do I consume on a yearly basis? I don't know, like five? I don't really do it that often. I don't really go to Tim Hortons. Talking about being a dictator. That sounds awful. It's cold AF. How do you love there? Very carefully. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I know you meant live there. You just gotta wear a big coat. You know how I keep this loud ass laptop from making noise when I'm recording? I put my giant coat over it and it drowns out the noise. That's literally how I do it. Morton's is only good for their hot chocolate. They do have pretty good hot chocolate. But I mean, that's just like, they have hot chocolate available. That's just what it is. Click. Also, hello, kitty cat. It's so fun to see the silver faker badge. Never thought I'd get to see it in real life. Do you prefer hot or cold weather? Um, uh, mild. I don't really like it. extremes in my weather. You know what? James Rolfe was right, though. Weather is bullshit. Or did he say temperature is bullshit? Either way, he was right. As he is about most things. I still have my copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES signed by him. It is my most prized possession. I 
Michigan weather can be bullshit. I believe you. zero degrees there. Ooh, then things are getting frozen. Not like the movie, though. Ugh. The kitchen light's doing its flashing thing again. I gotta submit a maintenance request. So they'll replace the light. Not to mention the light in my pantry well storage room it's like an automatic light that turns on like through movement there's no switch for it and it keeps turning itself on and off it's super annoying but at least it's in the corner so i don't have to look at it i can just hear it though Is messaging me right now. Oh, what? Scorpy streaming a haunted PS1 demo disc. Dang it. That's fine. He's probably going to be like an hour before he actually starts streaming anything. Have you guys been watching his streams? He does like this thing where he like made like a, a game in Unity, and anytime somebody subscribes to him, like they become like a baby on a desk. It's really creative, and I wish I could do something like that. Jesus is in the chat. It's Jesus. Say hello, Jesus. Is loving Jesus legal yet? What the heck? I don't think that's where that's supposed to go, but it fits, kind of. Just pick that up. Yeah, I guess it is. No, the sun is a deadly laser. Not anymore, there's a blanket. Seriously, where the heck did that guy go anyway? He hasn't posted in forever. Please don't tell me he moved to TikTok. I wouldn't be able to handle that information. Hitler Lord, cheesers crisp. If God was made out of bread, well, if Jesus was made out of bread, he would be a cheesus crust. He would be made of cheese bread. He did not move to TikTok, thank God. I guess he just went AFK for like ever. Or he's like making another video that's gonna be like an hour long and absolutely crazy. It wouldn't surprise me either or. Or he's like making real music for like Spotify or something. I don't know. I have no idea what that guy's up to. <sighs> Why isn't this working? Like what the heck? One of these pieces has got to work. There it is. A 
if God was one of us. Just a VTuber like one of us. Yeah, right. Man. I can't afford a rig. I don't think I'd be able to pull off being a VTuber. My voice just isn't kawaii anime girl enough. I can't keep it high-pitched. What the fuck? Okay, I'm an idiot. It goes over here. a VTuber with that voice. Yeah, I would have to, like, I don't know, like, I'd have to have a, like, a rig that looks like a seinen protagonist or something. Like a JoJo's character. That's the only way I could get away with it. There we go, finally. Does this go here? Yes. Thank God. the worst headache right now. Dude, I've been having a lot of headaches lately. Just make a V avatar so you can be the real VTuber. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if I could pull it off. I can't imitate his voice. I mean, Brian Hanford is really good at what he does, and what he does is voicing V, and I literally don't know anything else that he's been in. He's like all dramatic. He's like, stop interrupting me, Fridge. The cut worm forgives the plow. What do you say? I can't do it. V is actually his first voice. God damn, he fucking nailed it then. It fucking sucks that they kind of killed him off technically, so he can't do that voice anymore. <laughs> DMC5 SE is canon, then Virgil can just go back to V at will now. Is that really how it works? Like, does he just, like, switch back and forth? There was a lot of talk of, um, fan fictions where when things get too, like, emotionally complicated, like, it would kind of be like the Hulk, but instead of, like, him turning like big and green when he gets angry Virgil would just like turn back into V when he is emotionally confused <laughs> because V had all the emotions <laughs> am I going to play Cyberpunk 2077? I don't think I'd be able to run it unless it's on PS4 and I don't know I never really had any interest in it outside of the jokes that it is never going to come out. Like, it went gold and it got delayed again. Like, how? How is that possible? He has to stab himself with Yamato, but like, what if he stabs himself, doesn't that other fucker come out, or is he dead? I don't know. Whatever. I haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender. Oh, they're making a live series adaptation of that? Uh, no, I haven't watched it. I have not.
you could own anything, what would it be? Everything. I want to own everything. Plans for Discord server? No. Just go to the fan Discord if you're that desperate. But I, I do not endorse it. Look at that. One donut down. Yeah. If I could have any superpower, the power of flying. Because flying sounds friggin' dope, yo. did got it. What would be my dream puzzle? I don't know. How about a devil may cry five puzzle, but it's just all V. It's just a bunch of pictures of V. Just a V collage puzzle. If I ever open a P.O. box, somebody is, like, under obligation to send me that. <laughs> I don't know how they get their hands on one. Just, just know that I want it. I'll frame it. It's very cringe and fangirlish. Have you fucking been watching my channel? I don't want to be that guy, but, uh, I kind of don't hide the fact that I'm like this. Did y'all not hear me when I said emo boy, seven minutes in heaven, Quizilla? Y'all want to believe that I've grown up since then, but I haven't. Thoughts on 3D puzzles? They're impossible, and I don't like them. Shirtless V. Yeah, that's a good mod. You shouldn't be shirtless in the puzzle, though. That'd be weird. But seriously, I've seen those gift sets. Good shit. We're all cringe deep down. It's true. Cringe culture is dead. Those fuckers on Tumblr, they're just like, oh, cringe culture is dead. You shouldn't make fun of people for their interests. And then they're all like, oh, you're in a fandom? Cringe. They're hypocrites. And I don't appreciate their take on things. there's a V body pillow. Listen to me. Listen to me. I need you to understand what I'm saying here. Yes, there was at one point this really awesome artist 
and I was going to buy it. But then it came out and it was $80 US and I was just like, if I buy this V body pillow, I will be going down a path that I cannot return from. And then I'd also be spending $80 on a pillow that I'd essentially have to hide anytime anybody ever came over. So it wasn't worth it, but I did consider it. And I don't know if that makes me cringe or not cringe for having overcome it, but there was a time in my life where I thought, yes, I would want to own one of those. And sometimes I regret it. But in the end, it is what it is. If you had a death note, who would you kill? Why do you keep asking that? Um, I don't know. I'm not allowed to say. If I did, I might get banned for inciting violence. So I won't tell you. Seriously, stop fucking asking that. I'm timing you out. That's super annoying. If I don't answer your question, don't spam it in the chat. It just makes you look c -c -c cringe. Or just being the corpse bride. I don't know. I feel like the corpse bride had like a really like up like like a beat kind of cheery voice. I don't know. I haven't watched the movie in like a really long time. Oh, it's my McDonald's order. I um I get like a breakfast sandwich, I don't know. Egg McMuffin, whatever they're called. I'd buy that. Or I've ever ordered the Travis Scott meal. I think that's like an American exclusive, isn't it? Am I crazy? Official TMC5 jacket, expensive. Oh yeah, that's right. People were like, oh, that's why Dante's broke all the time. His jacket costs like a thousand dollars. What's my favorite movie to watch? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite movie anymore. Coraline's really good, though. Damn, you know, this puzzle is a lot thinner than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's like that wide. But it's like really tall. That doesn't really help me. I thought it would be a square. What was that? What was that noise? Oh, somebody subscribed. I always forget that I have a, a thing for that. Wasn't Nine my favorite at some point? Yes, but I haven't watched it in a really long time, and it's a really sad movie. But I was drawing fan art for it on DeviantArt back when it came out. I had a fan OC, who was 10, obviously, because I wasn't creative. No, but seriously, where the fuck is the sequel to that movie? Because they had the nine scientist on um on Facebook who was like posting images there prior to the movie's release. And then like a few years ago he made another post and I was just like, who the fuck? Like who did this? And like where is the sequel? Trying to be a female corpse husband. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that is. What'd you miss? Nothing. Life is a stagnant circle. I'm kidding. I don't know. You might have missed some words that I spoke. Imagine that. Corpse husband is a dude with a unique voice. 
you to do with a very deep voice. Well, this, I could go deeper. Yo, I've got a really deep voice now. You can barely understand what I'm saying because my voice is just so deep. You sound like a fucking robot. Fine. Whatever. You don't understand me. You don't understand anything about me. You think you know me, but you don't. Why isn't that working? Okay. This is a thousand piece. No, it's 500. Say Baba Booey. Okay, I said it. Next day, some Arvid. Girlfriend reviews jigsaw puzzles. Nobody would watch that. Nobody's tuning in to see that. Nobody's watching the days go by. Days go by. Can you prove you're not a text-to-speech program linked to an AI? I can't prove anything. I can just prove that I have hands. Disproportionately popular. If I wanted to play the algorithm perfectly, I would upload only Yandere videos. But I have more integrity than that, unfortunately. Sundere girlfriend reacts to Saw movies and explains how stupid every victim is for not knowing how to escape their trap ASMR. Uh, yeah, that's just the YMS reviews of Saw. Like, that already exists. Of course, those videos are really old, though. ASMR, you've gone clinically insane and I'm a voice in your head. Ah, that sounds a little patronizing. Let's not mock the mentally ill, shall we? Wonder why Yandere is so popular, because people are fucking lonely. ASMR reviewing. If I thought I could get anywhere with reviewing, my last channel would have been a big success. It may sound sad, but you write short stories and get text to speech to read them to me. Why would that be sad? That sounds like a good way to, like, check how your work sounds when it's read out loud. I mean, like, you know, it's not bad to write short stories. Why is my voice so dry? Because... It's what the plants crave. Try putting Yandere in the title of the vampire series to see what happens. But uh, that would be false advertising, because that character isn't a Yandere. They don't even fit the archetype at all. Well, besides that. So, like, the person who commissioned the vampire video, I don't know, like, their name was, like, something really long, had a swear word in it, I don't know. But, basically, I'm feeling pretty good about it, because, like, the dude was just like, yeah, 
there were a few corrections that needed to be made, but he wrote a really long script and thereby I get paid up front and I get to post a really long video, which is what people are wanting. But it also is very labor intensive. Like it takes like a half hour to record and then like three hours to edit it all down. And that's just for like a 14 minute video. And I mean, like, as long as I'm getting paid, it's fine. But, like, I wouldn't do that myself for videos that I'm making. We need Meme Girlfriend, too. Well, maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. I might do that. I might do it. You never know. Does my blood taste like salt? Maybe. Probably tastes more like Swedish berries. Been eating a lot of those. Alien Girl 2. Yes, that is in thought process currently. I'm still thinking about it. Tastes like Swedish fish. I haven't been to the U.S. since uh, last year. Definitely no Swedish fish around here. They're just, they're berry shaped. And not as, not as fun to consume as the Swedish fish, but you know, it is what it is. do I write my own scripts? Usually, but for commissions, at least this round of commissions, I've decided that I'm only accepting commissions that are pre-written. So if anybody wants me to say words, they better be sending me a script because I'm not writing them based off of like prompts that I'm given anymore. I don't have time for it. Maybe when I finally like get out of my terrible shitty job, I'll have time for it. But right now I do not. Wouldn't it be so fun to work nine to five, just writing scripts? I was thinking of doing a live stream where like, I would take suggestions from the chat and just write a script based on that and then perform it. Idea didn't work out though. I can't write with an audience. Yandere Sonic, I, I did that one. It was Sonic.exe. I took most of the lines from the original Creepypasta, though. <sighs> Ugh, I'm starting to get tired, but I want to get this puzzle, like, done-ish. I don't know, if I come back tomorrow, I could probably finish it. I mean, I am getting pretty good progress. Oh, that was you who wrote the vampire script. It took you 10 hours. Writing is a lot harder than you thought it'd be. Um, well, my scripts are usually pretty short. They're usually between 400 and 600 words. I write them on my phone at work, usually. And, I don't know, it can take anywhere from like an hour to two hours, but I don't have a lot to do at work, so, you know, it's just something to pass the time. Unfortunately, lately, I've been super uninspired, so it's been, like, way too hard to come up with ideas. It's just because all the buildings are so old and cramped, there's no windows to look out of, the sky goes dark so early, I'm in such a creative fucking rut right now. I hate to admit it, but I am. That's why you're getting all like these weird videos of me like just messing around with puzzles and just, I'm totally lost these days. And you know what, I should be feeling inspiration, I've got this gorgeous new apartment. I should be able to just stare out the window and come up with ideas, but I have to fucking work full time. I 
Anxiety about the concerningly realistic mannequins. I don't have to deal with the mannequins anymore. I got reassigned. I'm on second shift. And now I'm in old-ass buildings that don't have mannequins in them, but are nonetheless creepy as hell. And irritating, because they've all got security systems. Let me tell you something. I would wager that in the past five years, those security systems, like the door alarms, have only been set off by accident. Like, no... there's been nobody, like, breaking in to set them off. It's only been, like, employees accidentally setting them off. That's what I believe. Like, who the fuck tries to... Just... I don't understand why those two floors are fucking password locked. It doesn't make any sense. So I gotta deal with the beeping and then run over to the code thing and punch in the code. It's stupid. The only good thing is that nobody ever goes into the second floor while I'm there. So I can just take over the break room. Serious idea for a Call of Duty ASMR. I'm not sure if it's too stupid to make. Nothing is too stupid to make. If you've got an idea and you want me to read something, I will read it. I don't care how stupid it is. Disarming an overly complex security system ASMR. Listen. Listen. The security exists to protect the company, not the employees. I don't... It just exists to protect computers on particular floors, I guess. But, um... Crusade against the ASMR community. What, like, my brand? That sucks. Because, like, they do the least copyright, like problems ever is it because of like the pit crews i understand please say woman moment there i said it let me tell you a story of what happened to me at work the other day so i go up to the third floor of the building with the uh security system and it's got two in there there's one for the floor itself so when you go in through the door on the third floor it beeps and then you got to put in the code and then there's another office like room there's like an office with like a bunch of computers in it um on that floor and the door to get into it was jammed so i couldn't get in and i was just like there's another door to get in through like the kitchen but uh i didn't know because when when you go in through the office you also have to punch in another code to disarm the alarm and what i did was oh i can just go through the kitchen and get in that way What I didn't know is, the second you open the kitchen door, if you haven't disarmed the alarm, is that it goes off. Like, it doesn't just do the beeping thing where, like, you have to punch in the code. It goes, like, like, the big fucking alarm. So I had to run through the kitchen, unlock the door to get from the kitchen to the office, and run through a dark office just to get to the code like just to get to the number pad to punch in the code and then it finally friggin shut off and i'm just like great now security is going to be on my ass so i had to call them i was like hey i accidentally set off the alarm on the third floor and they were like oh well it's all green on our end you should be good until you rearm the system and i was just like thanks for giving me a heart attack for fucking nothing Saying random dead means to make fans happy ASMR. Certainly. Oh, the fuck are there so many alarms? It's like the third floor where they can collect donations or something. It's like, it's not even like really an office. They just have a bunch of phones in there to call people for donations. 
It's bullshit. I fucking hate it in there. Going to the third floor is such a friggin' ordeal. Like, sure. The medical building was creepy as fuck, and it had the weird mannequins, but at least I never accidentally tripped an alarm just by going to work. The world is a vampire sent to drain. That's the only part I know of that song. And it's only because of Merrick plays Vampire the Masquerade. Little Karibo should continue that series. It was really good. What kind of place do I work? Higher education. There's limited people on site because everyone's online now, but it's still unbearable. What kind of work am I doing? Cleaning. say earlier the $1,000 deal is off. Yes, I've taken it off. I don't want anyone spending that kind of money on me. I just feel like it's kind of an inappropriate deal. I used to come from snails. Damn it, gambling. We're not doing the friggin' snail farming thing again. Best idea ever. Pet discovers that their vampire master is secretly an ASMR content creator. ASMR roleplay. <laughs> Title's a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, that is pretty funny. Or like, um... You could do that with anything. It doesn't have to be vampires. It could be like... Uh, discovering that your girlfriend makes ASMR videos or something. Or discovering that your girlfriend is the angry video game nerd. <laughs> it's like, man, I do joke, but making that angry video game nerd ASMR video was so funny. <laughs> Listen, if James Rolfe ever sees that video, I will probably, like, cringe forever, but it would be so funny. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta start getting way more meta with the videos. I suppose so. That's how I was at the beginning. Just kind of go crazy with it. I've kind of fallen into a bit of a rut, and it's because I just don't have time to think of anything. Like, at least with, like, when I was working in the medical building, I could, there was, like, a, like a study room I could sit in where, like, nobody would bother me because it was, like, it was... It was the middle of the night. It was night shift, so nobody would come by and bother me, but working day shift there's always the threat that somebody could walk in and catch me not doing my work even though there's no work to do and it's just like it's really stifling my creativity honestly something more shit posting fun listen you can commission anything you want as long as it's like safe for work I want everybody to be aware that, like, when I say you can commission things, I don't just mean, like, like ASMR scripts. You can commission me to, like, sing songs, even though I do cringe hearing myself sing when I'm editing, or to recite, like, meme quotes. 
Like, if anybody wants to pay me to recite, like, the Yoshikage Kira line thing, I'll do it. Pay me ten bucks. I need the money. Gotta pay rent somehow. My rent has, like, officially, like, tripled since I moved in. Ten minutes of monetized silence. Ooh. Ooh. You tempted me. Don't tempt me like this. Just start reciting copy pastas. I suppose so. Like if I run out of ideas, like I may eventually just have to do the uh what is it, the 4chan one, like you're fucking dead, kiddo, however that goes. I'm a trained military sniper. You send me ten bucks if I do it. Well then send me ten dollars. Teacup audio. I don't know who that is. What do they do? They get canceled. Ooh, I hope I get canceled soon. Then I'll make my triumphant comeback. Gross. You get banned for that. Cancelled by YouTube. What happened to them? Like, they got, like, kicked off of YouTube for what? Like, copyright infringement? Or just, like, post and not safe for work stuff? Either way, RIP. I understand the system can be hard to work with. was not you who started. I didn't ban you. I banned a different guy for being a pervert. Fake does a jigsaw and goes ape when she finds the last piece missing. That's what happens when you get your puzzles from the puzzle exchange at the library. There's always a piece missing. It's outrageous. Girlfriend cancels you, but it's not personal or anything ASMR, except it totally is personal. Like, babe, it's nothing personal, but you didn't stand Luna. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually how it's pronounced. I've just seen that, like, image on Twitter. Or not on Twitter, on Tumblr. But it was like a Twitter post, right? They were just like, mmm... It's like, sorry your grandma died, but she didn't stand Luna. I don't know what it means. YouTube have been cracking on the more sexual ASMR channels. Some of the safe work channels have been hit. Shit. Well, that would suck. Yeah, well, there was this same bloody stream. In a minute, I have a thing to say. There's this guy. He's been, like, taking audios from, um... Oh, what's it called? That Not Safe for Work um, audio subreddit. Just, like, old ones from, ch from, like, users that, like, aren't active anymore. And they've just been posting them wholesale to YouTube. And, like, they're completely, like... You know what I'm saying, right? Like, they're just, like, completely not safe for work and... They just keep posting them on, like, eight different channels, and I don't understand why. Like, they can't be monetized. <laughs> They're completely inappropriate, though. I think I should be okay. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Anyway, um, I need... 
I'm gonna sing Bloody Stream and I have to look at the lyrics. I have to do that. Bloody Stream lyrics. What the fuck? No, from from JoJo's, not whatever fucking English band that is. Damn it. I completely lost the tune in my head. I can't do it. Your girlfriend is YouTube headquarters ASMR RP. She jeans. I, I, I don't know where it starts. Uh, da, da, da. Did somebody just subscribe? I don't know, whatever. Yami wo asamoite satsuna wo kawashite yaibas. Jesus, I can't say these words. It's too much. It's too much. I don't know Japanese. Figured the spamming was some kind of monetization scam. Are you talking about my videos? <laughs> um, no, but like, yeah, some guy was posting that. Just like pretending that they're his own content, but they're like super not. The part one intro. No, I don't know that one off by heart. It's it's like my least favorite JoJo intro. I think I might be able to sing Crazy Noisy Bizarre Town, though, because I do jam to that all the time. Crazy Noisy Bizarre Town lyrics. Why the fuck are they giving me the lyrics for the English version? I don't care about that. Somebody just subscribe. Who the fuck? Who are y'all subscribing? Okay. Okay. How does it go? Like. Da, 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 da. I've completely lost the tune of it. Hold on. I gotta play it on my phone. Nobody listen to this. Don't listen to this. You can't hear this. Just don't copyright me, YouTube. I'm not doing anything illegal. You can't hear this. You can't hear it. Okay, okay. I've got I've got the I've got the beat. Surachiki. What the fuck? That's like a long ass Japanese word. Uh, let's just do the chorus. Takedo kyo mo jojo ni monku nanka iate ni chichi jo wa otaru crazy noisy bizarre town. That's all I got. I mean. In case you haven't noticed, I don't know Japanese. Baka. I could sing like part five, I know a bit of part five. What is it like? Yume wo shiba itsukaru. Something like that, I don't know, whatever. I can sing along to it, I just can't sing it independently. Stub every single character for the entire anime. Baka Mitai. Um, 
I don't know. How does it go? Like, dame dane, dame yo, dame quiero yo. I don't actually know the words. I'm just kind of like assuming what like the sounds. Vague Japanese, vague Japanese like sounds. That's the subtitles. Do a rap. I don't know. I don't really know any rap songs off by heart. Maybe, um, hmm. No, I don't know. I'm running out of room in here. Unravel from Tokyo Ghoul. Never watched it. Fujiwara Chica song, no idea. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Classic. That's a classic. Love that one. ASMR, you become your girlfriend's pog champ. Baby, you're my pog champ. You're my darling pop champ. <laughs> you know, actually, that reminds me. I saw this hilarious Tumblr post. <laughs> it's like, um, it's like somebody at a computer doing research, and it's like. <laughs> It's like HLVRAI fanfic writers looking for color names to make rhymes out of for the sweet voice. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really remember them, but I feel like I've seen some pretty abstract colors. thought like if I could make a rap I would be set to um that like rap edit like a rap beat edit of um what was it called um Mr. Sandman you can you can find like a rap beat edit of that and it would just be a song it's just somebody rapping about how they're not a Fujoshi I don't know why I just thought it would be funny Is another donut close enough artificial amateurs aren't all aren't at all amazing analytically I assault animate things broken barriers bounded by the bomb be buildings are broken basically I'm bombarding casually create catastrophes listen I don't know what the beat is so I can't rap that donating money to streamers to get their attention ASMR maybe some of y'all should do that send me money <laughs> I'm still waiting for that 10 bucks to read that Kira thing. I'll do it. But you gotta pay me. Ain't nothing in this world free. Okay, this has gotta go here. Wait. Yes. Yes. It's called alphabet aerobics. Okay. I don't understand. I was hoping you saw my post. What post? What are you talking about? I could do a... Oh, uh, the rap. Um, this is what your school really taught you. It's by Ray William Johnson, who is apparently doing another animated band. Did you see that post? Like, he already did one animated band. It was already transphobic enough. Let's not do it again. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Um, it's like, 
recipes for the party and you better enjoy it because you'll soon be in the queue at the unemployment like yo are you weighing on the government cheese because I could have sworn I heard you went and got your degree oh thank you just want a playlist for the I think that's Australian one dollar thank you thank you so much you should have asked for study more you could have gotten far instead you're chugging long on the tees at the bar and you took that easy course you barely had the reading like you that's for underwater basket weave and you lost your v-card like you didn't really need it but w for writing papers using wikipedia remember your ex who you met at the carrier you'll forget what you studied but you'll never forget her so why'd you waste your time doing all that thinking when you didn't get your z's because you were out drinking oh thank you kitty cat for the five for the five pounds attention please you are now attentioned thank you thank you so much thank you for your support What's my next video? I have no idea. If you think I have any idea what I'm going to post, like, the day before I post it, you're crazy. I have no idea what's going on here. And I run the channel. Have I seen Bleach? No. I've heard things. Terrible things. And some good things. I've just heard things in general. I've heard words spoken in my direction. Girlfriend is plotting to murder you, but you're kind of into it, ASMR. <laughs> uh, I don't think I can do that. Actual murder, it's kind of off the table. I mean, I know I did it once, but it's kind of off the table now. All right. Well, the truth is I've officially run out of room for this puzzle. Hold on while I move my mic in a manner. Shit. Well, gotten too big for my own table. Maybe it's time to call it. Even though I don't want to. What anime would you love to watch but never have the time? I don't know. If it's something I really want to watch, I will make time. I did once. Which video was that? It was my first Yandere video. You know, the fake out one. It was like three minutes long. And like, the listener wasn't actually the Yandere's target. I don't know. I'm not going to spoil the whole thing for you. It's in the playlist. You can go watch it. Already on draft four of the sequel. Well, don't stress yourself. I mean, in the end, it's for you. Like, you're writing it because you want to hear it, so write it how you want. Just, you know. No, not safe for work. You can't do that. It's illegal. In YouTube land, at least. Because we gotta protect the children. It looks like my school desks. This is... Actually, I don't know what kind of what this is. Whatever. It could be made out of school desks. I don't know. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Have I seen Hunter Hunter? No. YouTube will put you in horny jail. Exactly. Not that I was really interested in the possibility of recording not safe for work things anyway. I know that's where the money is, but it's not worth it. Like, I know that that dude, Cardlin, he's, like, friggin' making bank on Patreon because he posts not safe for work stuff. But that's his prerogative, and he can have that. Goodbye, Biohazard Shade. Go on and live your life in the way you see fit. We will meet again someday between the stars and the sun. <laughs> Sing Guts theme? I don't know what that is. I don't watch a whole lot of anime. Guys can make bank from not safe work too. Yeah, but they have to be like super established. 
I mean, that guy's been doing it for like, what, four years and he's only got like 100K. I feel like, yeah, the girls that do not stay for work have a lot more of a follower base, but I will say his fandom is dedicated. That's one thing. It had several hundred thousand views. That makes sense to me. Only problem is, is that it definitely got demonetized. So, like, where do you draw the line? You saw, you saw a shooting star yesterday. Congratulations. What's my favorite book to read? I don't know. I haven't read books in a really long time. Usually, just before bed, like, if I'm feeling kind of, like, morose or something, I'll read, like, a like a comfort fanfic, you know. Like that one I wrote and read for you guys. You know what I mean. Frenry X Reader. Like, really, it's kind of funny that people would, like, call me cringe and, like, a fangirl and stuff after I read that fanfic on stream. Like, I fucking wrote that. It's cringe as hell, and I admit to writing it. What did you expect from me? Would you rather have a fan base of one million, but none of them interact with you, or 100,000 of loyal fakes? How would I have a fan base of one million that doesn't interact with me? That doesn't make any sense. Like, if they don't leave any comments or anything, like, if I have a million subscribers, but they don't watch my videos, what's the point? What's my favorite fanfic? Oh, that's hard. That's a hard one. I could be, like, uh, self-centered and say it's my own fanfiction, but, like... Um, let me check my AO3 favorites list, and I'll let you know. Ugh, I'm not logged in. Yes, I can send to the terms. God damn it. Remember me. Great, I'm in light mode. This is terrible. I hate reading AO3 in light mode. Where were you when I only got a million subs making one million bot accounts, bro? Okay, let's see. Um, oh, that's a really good one. And I just like say, um, there's this really good fanfic I want to promo here. Post canon, but the science team are overly intelligent Shemeji's on Gordon's computer. That's HLVRAI. Dan, what the fuck are you doing? I look away for one second and you're posting fucking E's in chat. Get the fuck out of here. Anyway. You're in timeout idiot. That'd be stupid. I've ever seen Hell of a Boss or Has Been Hotel? Yes, I've seen both of those. Mm. I don't know. There's a good VX Reader insert fanfic in here, but I don't know if that's my favorite. I have too many bookmarks to make this decision. <sighs> when will I finish this puzzle? Maybe tomorrow. My favorite character for has been. I don't know, that that spider dude is kinda cool, I guess. Um hmm, I don't know. I guess um for the most recent one, yeah, I'll just say that like the 
the good fanfic is the post-canon, but the science team are overly intelligent smedgies on Gordon's computer. That's a good one. I could read it if you want. It's safe for work. But I'll get back to the puzzle. ASMR berry tier list. I don't really eat berries. If we if you want a grape tier list, red grapes are better. That's just a fact. It was a rant about something that pissed you off and something you enjoyed to watch. I couldn't do that. It's never something that's like in the thing. It's always the fandom in the end. I could give you a rant, but it is HLVRAI related, so I'm not putting you guys through that. I'm trying to limit how much I talk about it. stream and going ah oh, shit almost three hours Do you like kyle run from dmc5 listen v can get it and adam driver can also get it don't question me think is the most toxic of fandoms um mm, i don't know most new fandoms because nobody knows how to like just keep to themselves anymore nobody remembers the famed words don't like don't read everybody's just getting up in each other's business for no reason <sighs> i know i sound so fucking old saying that just like if it's a modern fandom then chances are People are just being idiots in it. Hashtag only hands. Listen, if you become a real faker, you can use the only hands emote. That's what I made it for. Ridiculous. Am I a gamer? Somewhat. Exactly. Kitty Cat knows what's up. Only hands. Anyway, I think I'll put down one more piece if I can find what I'm looking for. There it is. There's another one. Finish this friggin' thing. Plan to sell any gamer girl relics? Probably not. Yeah, you were a ghost because I put you in timeout for friggin' spamming. Don't do that shit. Opinions on furries, they exist. 
Anyway, another donut has been completed. There we go. Another one. All right. Well, this has been fun and all, and I have gotten a chance to express myself. But I guess we're going to have to finish this tomorrow. It's like 11, and I'm tired. And also, I want to watch Scorpy's stream, so I'm going to go do that. Also, for tomorrow, I have to readjust the camera, because apparently this puzzle is a lot taller than I thought it was. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Thank you to everybody who supported me and, and sent me donations and subscribed and became real fakers. Thank you. Thank you all. Goodbye. Goodbye.